Welcome to the Paranormal Deep Dive from Real Ghost Stories Online and the Grave Talks. Imagine a vast, imposing structure rising majestically against the rugged landscape of western Pennsylvania. Its grand facade, constructed from solid stone, stands as a silent testament to a bygone era where the echoes of the past linger within its walls. This is the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, a place steeped in history and shrouded in mystery. Tonight, we embark on a journey through time, exploring the intricate history and the haunting legends that have made the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum a focal point of both historical interest and paranormal intrigue a sanctuary where the shadows of the past continue to dance in the present. The story of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum begins in the mid-19th century, a time when the understanding and treatment of mental health were undergoing significant transformations. In 1854, recognizing the urgent need for a dedicated facility to care for the mentally ill. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania commissioned the construction of a grand institution that would set new standards for mental health care. This vision materialized in the form of the Western Pennsylvania Hospital for the Insane, later renamed the Allegheny State Hospital, and ultimately known as the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Designed by architect John H. Bunyan, the asylum was envisioned as a state-of-the-art facility that would embody the principles of moral treatment, a progressive approach emphasizing compassionate care and humane treatment of patients. Construction began in 1857, and the grand building was completed in 1881. Spanning over two and a half million square feet, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum was the largest hand-cut stone masonry building in the United States. A marvel of engineering and architectural ambition. The structure featured 250 rooms spread across six floors, each meticulously designed to provide comfort, security, and therapeutic environments for its patients. The construction of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum was a massive undertaking involving thousands of skilled workers and the latest advancements in building technology. The use of high quality materials and innovative design elements ensured that the asylum was not only functional, but also aesthetically impressive. The building's imposing presence was intended to convey a sense of stability and hope reassuring families that their loved ones would receive the best possible care. The layout of the asylum was carefully planned to facilitate the movement of patients and staff, with expansive corridors, communal spaces, and tranquil gardens designed to promote healing and well-being. Upon its opening in 1881, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum quickly became a beacon of hope for those suffering from mental illnesses. The facility employed a multidisciplinary approach to treatment, incorporating occupational therapy, recreation, and structured routines alongside medical interventions. Patients were encouraged to engage in productive activities such as gardening, woodworking, and art, fostering a sense of purpose and self-worth. The asylum also featured beautifully landscaped grounds, providing a serene environment that was believed to contribute to patients' mental health and recovery. However, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum's history is not without its darker chapters. As societal attitudes toward mental health evolved, so too did the challenges faced by the institution. In the early 20th century, the asylum grappled with overcrowding, underfunding, and the complexities of treating a diverse patient population with varying needs and conditions. Despite these challenges, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum remained a prominent center for mental health care. 
continually adapting its practices and facilities to better serve its patients. The asylum's operational history is marked by significant events and milestones that reflect the broader trends in mental health care. During World War I, the facility played a crucial role in treating soldiers returning from the front lines, many of whom suffered from what was then referred to as shell shock. The post-war period saw advancements in psychiatric treatments and a greater emphasis on research and education. Positioning the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum as a leader in the field, However, the mid-20th century brought about profound changes with the advent of new psychiatric medications and the deinstitutionalization movement, which aimed to transition patients from large institutions to community-based care. The decline of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum was influenced by these broader societal shifts. As mental health care moved towards outpatient services and smaller facilities, the once thriving institution began to see a decrease in patient numbers. Additionally, the rise of managed care and changes in funding structures further impacted the asylum's operations. By the latter part of the 20th century, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum faced significant financial challenges, leading to periods of partial closure and restructuring. Despite these challenges, efforts to preserve and repurpose the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum have been ongoing. In the early 2000s, the institution ceased its operations as a mental health facility, leaving behind a complex legacy of both compassionate care and historical hardships. Recognizing the cultural and historical significance of the building, preservationists and historians have worked tirelessly to maintain the structure, ensuring that it remains a tangible link to the past. Today, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum stands as a national historic landmark, attracting visitors from around the world who are drawn to its architectural grandeur and its haunting history. The preservation efforts have focused on maintaining the building's original features, including its intricate stonework, grand staircases, and expansive windows that offer panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. The asylum's grounds, once meticulously landscaped for therapeutic purposes, now serve as a serene backdrop for tours and events, providing visitors with a glimpse into the lives of those who once walked its halls. The restoration and preservation of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum have been meticulous endeavors, aimed at retaining the institution's historical integrity, while adapting it to its new role as a museum and venue for educational purposes. Original features such as the grand staircases, ornate lounges, and spacious patient rooms have been carefully restored, preserving the building's authentic charm. Modern amenities have been discreetly integrated to accommodate the needs of contemporary visitors, ensuring that the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum remains both a historical monument and a functional site for learning and exploration. But it is not just the building's illustrious history that captivates the imagination. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum is also renowned for the eerie legends that whisper through its corridors. Tales of ghosts and unexplained phenomena that have fascinated both skeptics and believers alike. These haunting stories are woven into the very fabric of the asylum giving it an otherworldly presence that lingers long after the sun has set on its stone facade. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum's reputation as one of the most haunted places in the United States adds a layer of mystery and intrigue, drawing those with an interest in the supernatural to explore its haunted corridors and shadowed passageways. The origins of the asylum's haunted reputation are deeply rooted in its tumultuous past. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum witnessed numerous tragedies and losses, both during its operational years and in the lives of its patients and staff. From the deaths of patients in tragic circumstances 
to the harsh realities of life within the institution, the asylum has been the silent witness to countless sorrows. These historical events have provided fertile ground for the ghostly legends that have since emerged. Each story a spectral echo of the asylum's storied history. One of the most enduring tales is that of Elizabeth Lambert, a patient who was admitted to the asylum in the late 19th century. Elizabeth suffered from severe depression and was subjected to the harsh treatments of the time, including prolonged periods of isolation and restraints. Tragically, Elizabeth died within the asylum. Her life cut short by the very institution meant to heal her. Numerous visitors and staff members have reported sightings of a sorrowful apparition resembling Elizabeth. Often seen wandering the halls late at night, her presence evoking a profound sense of sadness and loss. Some believe that her spirit remains bound to the asylum, unable to find peace after her untimely death. Equally haunting are the reports from the administration offices, where the ghostly apparitions of former staff members are said to linger. Patients and visitors have described seeing shadowy figures dressed in period uniforms, moving through the offices as if performing their duties long after they have ceased to exist. The spectral administrators are believed to be remnants of the asylum's bureaucratic past, their spirits unable to leave the place where they once wielded authority and responsibility. The cold, formal spaces of the administration offices seem to hold their restless spirits, creating an atmosphere of unease for those who venture into these areas. Adding to the asylum's eerie ambiance are the stories of ghostly children. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum was once home to a pediatric ward where young patients received care and treatment. Visitors have recounted sightings of ghostly children playing in the old playrooms and hallways their laughter echoing through the empty corridors. These apparitions are often seen near the old playground or the abandoned nursery, suggesting a tragic connection to the young lives that were lost or separated during the asylum's operation. The innocence of these spectral children contrasts sharply with the dark history of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, creating a poignant and unsettling presence. Perhaps the most famous haunting involves the Bride of Trans-Allegheny, a ghostly figure shrouded in mystery and tragedy. According to legend, the Bride was a young woman who was preparing for her wedding when she was admitted to the asylum due to a mental breakdown. Despite the efforts of her family and doctors, the Bride's condition worsened and she tragically died within the institution before her wedding day. Her spirit is said to roam the asylum's grand staircases and ornate ballrooms, forever mourning the loss of her lost happiness. Sightings of the bride are often accompanied by unexplained cold spots and the faint sound of bridal music, adding to the legend's haunting allure. Over the years, numerous paranormal investigations have been conducted at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, each one attempting to uncover the truth behind these ghostly tales. Equipped with the latest in paranormal technology, EMF detectors, EVP recorders, and infrared cameras, investigators have scoured the asylum in search of evidence. Many claim to have captured unexplained phenomena fleeting shadows, disembodied voices, and sudden temperature drops. Footage from these investigations often shows apparitions appearing and disappearing without warning, doors slamming shut on their own, and objects moving without any apparent cause. While skeptics argue that these findings can be attributed to the asylum's age and creaking structure, Believers hold firm that the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum is a hotspot for supernatural activity. Paranormal investigators have long been fascinated by the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, drawn by the institution's rich history and the multitude of reported ghost sightings. 
organizations dedicated to the study of the supernatural have conducted numerous expeditions within the asylum, seeking to document and analyze the unexplained occurrences that have become synonymous with its haunted reputation. These investigations employ a range of equipment designed to detect and record paranormal activity, from electromagnetic field, EMF detectors, that sense fluctuations in energy to electronic voice phenomena, EVP recorders, that capture unexplained voices and sounds. One notable investigation took place in the early 2000s, when a team of paranormal researchers embarked on an extensive exploration of the asylum's haunted areas. Equipped with state-of-the-art technology, the team spent weeks surveying the building, documenting every anomalous occurrence. Their findings included unexplained cold spots in the grand salons, mysterious shadows flitting across the halls, and countless EVP recordings of indistinct voices whispering through the corridors. The investigators concluded that the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum's history of tragedy and loss had left a residual energy that manifested as ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena. Another significant investigation was conducted by a renowned paranormal research group during their annual haunted location tour. Their expedition within the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum garnered widespread attention as they captured compelling footage of ghostly figures appearing in mirrors. Strange noises emanating from the administration offices and unexplained movements of objects. While skeptics dismiss these findings as products of the asylum's age and acoustics, the research team remained convinced that the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum was a genuine hotspot for paranormal activity. Their televised exploration brought the asylum's haunted reputation to a broader audience, further cementing the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum's place in ghost lore. Personal testimonies from staff members, visitors, and paranormal enthusiasts add a human element to these ghost stories. Countless accounts describe encounters with spirits that seem to be bound to the asylum's history. Whether it's a fleeting glimpse of a figure in the corner of an eye, or a more direct interaction with a spectral presence, these stories contribute to the enduring mystique of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. One visitor recalls walking through the grand ballroom late at night, only to feel a cold breeze and see a figure gliding gracefully across the floor, vanishing as suddenly as she appeared. Another recounts hearing the distant sounds of a child's laughter echoing through the corridors, a sound that stops abruptly when approached. The consistency of these reports despite the passage of time, only deepens the intrigue surrounding the asylum's haunted legacy. Among the most compelling personal accounts is that of a former orderly who spent over three decades working at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. In his recollections, he describes witnessing unexplained phenomena that left him both bewildered and unsettled. He speaks of hearing footsteps in empty corridors, seeing shadowy figures near the old playrooms, and feeling sudden drops in temperature that chilled him to the bone. These experiences, he insists, were too vivid and consistent to be mere figments of his imagination, leading him to believe that the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum harbored restless spirits bound to its tragic history. Another poignant testimony comes from a couple who attended a ghost tour at the asylum. During their visit, they experienced a series of unexplained events that they believe were manifestations of the institution's ghostly inhabitants. From objects moving on their own to hearing whispers in the night, their experiences added a supernatural dimension to their exploration. While some might dismiss these occurrences as the result of heightened emotions and the asylum's ambient noises, the couple remains convinced 
that they encountered genuine paranormal activity, further reinforcing the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum's haunted reputation. The haunting legends of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum are as much a part of its history as its architectural grandeur and operational milestones. To understand these ghost stories, it is essential to delve into the psychological and environmental factors that contribute to their persistence. From a psychological perspective, the power of suggestion plays a significant role in ghost sightings. Knowing that the institution is reputed to be haunted can prime individuals to expect and interpret ambiguous stimuli as paranormal phenomena. The ambiance of the asylum with its grand yet shadowed interiors and the lingering presence of history creates an atmosphere ripe for the imagination to conjure images of the past. Visitors and staff members alike may find themselves more susceptible to experiencing chills, seeing fleeting shadows or hearing whispers simply because they are in an environment that encourages such perceptions. Environmental factors also contribute significantly to the perception of paranormal activity within the asylum. The building's age means that many of its systems are outdated, with pipes groaning, wood shifting, and metal expanding and contracting with temperature changes. These natural sounds can easily be mistaken for footsteps, doors slamming, or other unexplained noises, especially in the dimly lit and acoustically echoing environments of the asylum. Additionally, the vastness and complexity of the building's layout can lead to disorientation and confusion, making it easy for visitors to misinterpret what they see and hear. Scientific explanations for the Trans-Allegheny lunatic. Asylum's haunted reputation delve into the realms of psychology and environmental science. The phenomenon known as pareidolia, where the mind responds to a stimulus by perceiving a familiar pattern where none exists, can explain sightings of ghostly figures. In the vast and often dimly lit corridors of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, the brain can interpret shadows and reflections as human forms, especially when primed by the institution's haunted lore. Additionally, infrasound, a type of sound wave that is below the frequency of human hearing, can cause feelings of unease, anxiety, and even visual hallucinations, contributing to the perception of ghostly activity. While these explanations may not diminish the personal experiences of those who believe they have encountered spirits, they offer a logical counterpoint to the supernatural interpretations. The human brain is wired to seek explanations and find meaning, especially in places steeped in history and emotion. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, with its rich past and grand architecture, provides a perfect setting for the mind to conjure images of the past, blurring the lines between memory and imagination. Whether it's the sound of footsteps echoing in the empty halls, or the sight of a fleeting shadow. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum's environment is primed for both awe-inspiring beauty and spine-chilling mystery. Despite the skepticism, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum's haunted reputation continues to thrive, fueled by its captivating history and the enduring allure of ghost stories. The interplay between history and myth creates a rich tapestry that keeps the institution's legacy alive and engaging for generations. Visitors to the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum are not only stepping into a piece of psychiatric history, but also into a realm where the past and the present coexist in a dance of mystery and wonder. The institution's ability to blend rich historical significance with captivating ghost stories creates an enduring legacy that continues to enchant and mystify all who encounter her. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic, 
Asylum stands as a monument to the complexities of mental health care and the enduring human fascination with the supernatural. Its history is rich with tales of compassionate care and harrowing hardships. Its walls echoing with the footsteps and whispers of those who once walked its corridors. The haunting legends that surround the institution add a layer of depth and mystery, making the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum not just a historical landmark, but a living relic of the past. Want to dig deeper in the paranormal deep dive? Press subscribe now wherever you download podcasts and catch brand new paranormal deep dives every single day from Real Ghost Stories Online and the Grave Talks podcast.